Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I did a look for a friend. I am just the nicest person in the world. No, I'm just kidding, but he's been begging me for this and I just keep forgetting about it. So before I went on vacation, I was like, let me get this out. So Drew, this is for you and you've got your green smoky eye. If this is not green, I don't know what is. So anywho, this is the full face minus the foundation. So if you'd like to see how I created this look, just keep watching. Obviously, I already have my foundation and everything on. You can look at my foundation routine if you would like to see how I do my face. But for some reason, I always like to do my bronzer before I start my eyes. So I'm going to do my bronzer. And I'm using the Pure Glow Together Bronzer. And I'm just taking my 135 brush from MAC, swirling it all together, tapping off the excess, and then going to town. I love this bronzer. It's more of a cool tone bronzer instead of it being so warm, but it's just, it's really pretty and natural. So now for the eyes, I'm going to start off with Fresh from Anastasia on a MAC 242, and I'm just putting this at the brow arch, and then we're going to I don't know, I gotta pick out a transition shape. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of orange soda, and this is from, again, Anastasia, and I'm going to go directly into the crease and then buff this outward. And I picked up very little because I don't want to see a whole lot of orange around the edge, but I do want there to be a type of transition there. So right into the crease and then buffing it upwards. Again, not trying to add a whole lot of color. And then I'm taking the outer edge and just kind of V'ing it out. Now I'm gonna grab my Urban Decay Electric Palette. I don't use this a whole lot, so it's kind of fun to go in and play with it. And I'm going to grab this yellowy green color on that same 217. Make sure you tap off the excess if you are doing your eyes after your makeup because these are pure pigments and you will get fallout everywhere. So I'm going straight into the crease again and working this upward. Now I'm gonna go into the shade right beside it called Freak and going straight into the crease with this one. I'm just going to windshield wiper motions and then I'm going to push it up as well. I'm going to add a few layers of this guy. But I want to do it slowly because I don't want to like get this shadow all over my face. So going in and just kind of seeing also how vibrant I want it to be. So you can kind of see the angle I'm pulling the brush to push it upward instead of like going straight in like this. Now I'm going to go in with a MAC liner and this is called Take the Plunge. This is a technical liner. So I'm just going to twist this up and I'm going to add this at the base of my lashes right here like you would a normal liner. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want there to be more depth at the lash line whenever I get the shadows finished. So there will be shadows going on top of this, but it kind of creates a little bit of depth. And then I'm also going to bring it underneath and then we're going to buff this out. So it doesn't have to be like super clean underneath because I'm just going to take, take my NARS pencil brush and just buff this out. Make all the funny faces you need to. Same brush and I kind of wiped off the excess and I'm going back in with Freak and going right over top of that liner at the bottom and smoking it out. This is going to be quite the smoky eye. You can kind of see how much more intense that green is on top of the liner. So I'm going to do the same thing to the top part of the lid. And I'm going to grab that 242, pack this on, and pack it on the lid. I'm just using swiping motions to really make sure that it's deposited on there. Grabbing that 217 again, and I'm going to grab Fringe, and I'm gonna pop this into the crease very, very carefully to deepen it up. And this is more of a blue shade, but because it's going on top of green, it pulls more green and just deepens it up really nicely. Make sure we're attaching like this outer part right underneath here. Kind of making our eyes look really round. 
which I like. I'm gonna take a little bit more of thrash, tap off the excess on a 221 and just go right around the edges of this to make sure that it's nice and blended. Now on the lid, I'm going back in with that 242 and I'm going to grab Chaos. This is one of my favorite shades in here. And I'm just gonna tap into here, tap off the excess, and I'm tapping this on the lid. It's gonna give it a little bit more of a blue appearance, but I really like the way it looks. You just don't want it to be super pigmented, so just tap in there, tap off the excess, and then tap it on. You can kind of see I'm making a lot of really fast tapping motions and moving around the lid. There we go. And now I'm going to add a little bit more liner. So I'm taking Take the Plunge again and I'm going right at the lash line. And I'm also bringing it right up against the lower lashes. I would totally pop this on the inner rim, but my contacts are mad at me as it is, so I'm not going to do that. I am, however, going to take this Wayne Goss number no. 7 and then MAC Nylon, because you have to, obviously, and pop this right at the brow arch. I love this shade. I would die if they ever discontinued nylon. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of gorgeous gold and pop it on the inner corner. Time for some mascara. I'm going to use Max Extended Play and Giga Black, and then I gotta figure out what lashes I'm gonna put on. So I'm gonna put them on, and then I'll tell you what they are. But make sure you do the top and the bottom lashes. For blush, I'm going to add Gingerly, because it's been a hot minute. It's by Mac, and I'm just gonna pop this on my cheekies. And over top of that, I'm adding some La Mer powder, the powder. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight using Warm Rose by Mac. This is limited edition, but it is still available. And this just gives a super soft glow, nothing shimmery or over the top. Let me throw on some MAC Lip Primer. This is Prep and Prime Lip. Lips, I'm going to use a little bit of Peach Stock by MAC. And then on top of that, I'm going to put MAC's Cream Sheen Glass in Richer Lusher. I'm almost out of this guy. And that, you guys, is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Drew, I hope you appreciated this. This was all for you. And if you guys are not subscribed, please do so. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!